Hi friends, Sarah here with The Holy Mess. This is day one. We are wrapping up day number one of the three day weight loss challenge. How are you doing? Let's come in, chat. I wanna hear all the things. I wanna hear everything about how it's going for you. What is going really well? What's been hard? What's been surprising? What's been challenging? What were some of the foods that you really loved? What were some of the foods maybe you thought, I just don't know if I'm gonna like that, but you really did enjoy it. I wanna hear all the things. So as we're waiting for everybody to come in, as you come in on the comments, I wanna hear from you on this day number one. What, how are you doing? How is day one going for you? What did you enjoy? What was a challenge? Um, those of you who were on yesterday's video, did you tell yourself, I can do hard things? Type that in the comments, I can do hard things. And the other affirmation we used was, I will follow my food plan on Monday. So, did you? Did you tell yourself that? Did you follow your food plan on Monday? If so, tell me in the comments. And then I wanna hear everything. What did you enjoy? What didn't you enjoy? What were the foods that you especially liked? Was anything a struggle? I've been leading this three-day diet for several years now. I've led quite a few groups through it, usually several thousand people in each group, and then we run it all the time on my website where you can just download it and go through it um, you know, self-guided on your own. So we've had almost 20,000 people use the original meal plan now, so there's not a question that we probably haven't heard. <laughs> there is probably not a topic that we haven't heard a question, something people love, something people really didn't like. So you're not gonna hurt my feelings. You're not gonna offend me. It's not probably something I haven't heard before. If there was something that you didn't like, that's okay. I like to look at all of it as a learning experience. It's feedback. Even if there were things that you didn't enjoy or you're like, okay, but I'm not gonna eat that again, that's okay because you learned. Or maybe it was something where you're like, wow, um, I didn't realize that eggs would keep me so full at breakfast and then I wasn't snacking all day. Or maybe it was something more like, you know, it's really hard for me not to have this particular food, so maybe I do need to plan it in my meal plan in the future. Whatever it was, I wanna hear from you in the comments. Did you say to yourself, I can do hard things? Type that in the comments, I can do hard things. And we said to ourselves today, I will follow my food plan on Monday. So I see you're getting some comments now um, from you. So those of you who are following the original plan, that's what I did today. We had scrambled eggs and salsa. We had turkey chili for lunch. We had um, fish or shrimp for dinner with vegetables. We had vegetable soup um, for a snack. And what was our other snack? Fruit, I think, right? Yep, fruit. And then for the um, plant-based, and for those of you who aren't using the plant-based, most of us are using the original, definitely check it out when this is over because it's great meals, great recipes. They had the Tropical Blast oatmeal, which has cauliflower, rice, or shredded zucchini in it. So that's kind of a game changer for a lot of people. They had a vegetarian version of the chili. So if you liked the turkey chili, check out on my website the vegetarian version. They had for dinner tofu vegetable stir fry and brown rice. They had vegetables for one snack and then they get banana ice cream for another snack. The plant baits gets dessert on day one. Those of us who are doing the original, we don't get dessert till day three. Everybody gets dessert though, don't worry. I know all about how we gotta have our dessert. Oh, So um, I wanna look at some of your comments and see how everybody is doing. If you're just now joining us, tell us how day went. Day one went for you. Did you enjoy the meal plan? Were you satisfied? Were you, um, was it too much food? Was it not enough food? Did you enjoy the food? How did it go for you? So Kathy says, all the food is yummy. I'm enjoying the plant-based plan so far. Yes, I can do hard things. Way to go, Kathy. Uh, and Kathy, what'd you think of the oatmeal? Did you do cauliflower rice or zucchini? Leslie followed the plan. She said, all the food is really good. That's great. Coco, I told myself all day, I am not a toddler whenever I wanted to cheat, right? So for anybody who maybe doesn't know what, to what Coco is talking about, you got to go back and watch yesterday's video, which was the Sunday night video about meal planning. I talked about your toddler voice versus your adult voice and how that can help you overcome food cravings and emotional eating. 
Nancy said I've had a lot of food. Jenny said I followed my food plan. Sandy said still following my food plan. I actually had a bowl of vegetable soup right before I came on this video. Kathy says I can do hard things and I followed my food plan on Monday. You guys, I gotta tell you, I gotta call you out a little bit here, Kathy. Kathy is in our Faithful Finish Lines membership and she hit her goal weight. Oh, congratulations. She has lost, is it like 55 pounds, Kathy? That is so amazing. So she is now going to become what that program calls a maintainer. We have it, what Faithful Finish Lines is, it's a Christian women's online program. We have a 10-stage course. And when people are done with that course, we have a program called Finishers that they can continue and then when they reach their goal weight, we have something called maintainers. Because one of the things that I learned pretty quickly is there's not a lot of information out there about maintaining. Even like with Weight Watchers, they have a lifetime program. I was shocked when I got to lifetime. There was nothing. There was no booklet. There was no information. There was nothing. And um, there's a lot to maintaining because how many of us have lost weight but then gained it back? Uh, me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, make probably more in my lifetime. So um, I'm really, I'm really proud of what we do at Faithful Finish Lines by God's grace, but that we offer that program for maintaining because there are some specific skills to maintaining your weight loss, and I want to teach you those skills. I don't want you to just lose weight and then gain it back. That's a really painful, difficult experience. I am here to help you keep the weight off. I have been maintaining my weight loss for almost 20 years now, two decades. That's a lot. A lot of life has happened in that time for me. We've moved across the state. My uh, mother died. I got very sick. Our children with special needs went through all kinds of things. One of our sons had to be placed in residential treatment. Um, and then just all the stuff, you know, like the cars breaking down and the stove quit working and the, the car this and the house that and the pets this and so many things happen and it's important to learn to crisis proof your weight loss so that you can continue to maintain even during those difficult things. So a huge shout out to Kathy. Let's all give her a huge congratulations. Um, so let me see some other comments here. Everybody's enjoying it. You can do hard things. Yes, you can, ladies. Susie said, I added more variety of vegetables to the soup, but was never hungry enough to eat it. That's okay. It's there for you when you want it. It does freeze really well. The vegetable soup does get, a, like the veggies do get a little soft when you freeze it, but it's still good. And um, you can even blend part of the soup if you want more like a, a thick soup. Um, Jenny says, I got a little hungry this afternoon, but ate a bowl of the soup and was fine. The chili filled me up and she can do hard things. Um, I followed the food plan and reminding myself that I can do hard things, especially when my niece offered me pretzels. Oh, I know. Isn't that so hard in the moment? Good job. That's awesome. It's so great that we're all doing this together, isn't it? It really helps to have the support of the group. Cynthia says plant-based diet was delicious. Awesome. Mary says it was a very tasty day. It was lots of food. So I never thought of bread, which is always my go-to, to, especially for lunch. Good for you, Mary. I hear you. Now, I did think of some of my go-to foods. I tend to eat yogurt almost every day, and I usually swirl some peanut butter in it. Peanut butter is like my, my love language. I love peanut butter. So, I mean, I, I won't say I wasn't missing it, but I did stick to my food plan. I stuck to my food plan on Monday. Michelle, I can do hard things. Yes, you can. And you followed your food plan. Um, skipping the last snack. That's fine. You do not have to eat anything. And I want to say that again, too, because that's a question that's come up in the group. Um, if there's a food you really don't like, you don't have to eat it. That's part of why in the... Um, upgrade plan, I give you a list of 200 food swaps. Um, there's nothing magical about this plan. This is a good solid plan and I'm actually going to be talking to you about how the plan was developed with a concept called calorie density, but it, there, again there's nothing magical to it. It is um, good wholesome real foods that are really filling and satisfying because they have lots of fiber, they have protein, um, you know, they're the way nature intended, but there's nothing magical about it. So, you know, if you don't like asparagus, don't eat asparagus, eat broccoli. You can swap any vegetable for any vegetable. You can swap a fruit for a fruit. Um, you know, you can eat some vegetable soup if you're not gonna eat a particular side that goes with a meal or something like that. 
we want you to try to stick to the plan, especially if this is your first time, mostly just because you might be surprised. Like maybe you think you don't like, I mean, I thought Brussels sprouts were disgusting, but I never ate them growing up. I think growing up we ate like three vegetables. We ate carrots, we ate broccoli, and we ate green beans, and mostly out of a can. I mean, that was how we ate, you know? So, um, and we ate a lot of casseroles and hamburger helper. So I didn't really grow up knowing about vegetables, uh, the wide variety of vegetables, or knowing how to cook them. That's something that I've learned since I've lost weight. So we do want to encourage you to at least try. So good for you who tried, but if it's something you really don't like or can't stomach, don't feel like you have to eat it. There's definitely swaps that are available that you would enjoy. Um, Kathy did the cauliflower rice in her oatmeal. Very good. Jill says the turkey chili was great. I didn't eat everything on the list. You missed your coffee creamer. So let me tell you a little bit about that, Jill. I'm glad you brought that up because that's probably one of the biggest questions we get asked is how come I can't put anything in my coffee? Um, I'm not totally opposed to you putting something in your coffee, but I do have concerns with people who drink a lot of calories. Um, I like to call the coffee that we like to drink here in America, it's like candy coffee. <laughs> you know, like the drinks you get at Starbucks and Tim Hortons and Dunkin' Donuts. You guys, it's dessert. I mean, some of those have more calories and sugar than at least one of the meals that you ate today, if not two of the meals. It's not unusual for a drink from Starbucks to have five, six, seven hundred calories. You do not want to be doing that to yourself. Now, you might not be drinking that many calories. Like maybe you're saying, Sarah, it's just some coffee creamer. What's the big deal? Well, your body doesn't recognize calories from drinks the same way it does calories for food. So what ends up happening, let's say it's 50 calories. Let's say 100. Let's just to make it easy. Let's say you use 100 calories of coffee creamer, which I will also say is not that hard to do. If you're not measuring, it's really not that hard. I've got a video on YouTube. I actually looked at some different size bottles of coffee creamer, a small one. If you go by the serving size and you only use one serving per day, that small bottle should last you over a month. I think it was like 45 servings. So if that bottle is not lasting you a month, that means you're using more than one serving. So two servings, three servings, you could easily get up to 100 calories. So that 100 calories, that's 700 calories over the course of a week, that, that's no small thing. That's a couple meals. That's a, a really big, hefty dessert. That's um, a meal out or that's a fast food meal. So are you sure you wanna spend that on coffee creamer? Maybe you do, I mean, it's a choice, but are you sure when you could be spending that on food? The other thing to consider is you could be spending that on nutrition. There's really no nutrition in coffee creamer, it's just calories. So um, think about all the wholesome nutrition. Again, like you look at some of these meals, let's say these meals were around 300 calories. These are packed full of nutrition. You have vitamins, you have minerals, you have fiber, you have protein. You're not getting any of that in your coffee creamer. And so, um, you know, there's a saying that um, those of us in first world countries right now, we're overfed and undernourished. And you can see where that's true. Um, we are getting so many calories, we're overfed, but we're undernourished. We're not getting enough of the vitamins and minerals we need. We're not getting the fiber we need. For some of us, we're not getting the protein that we need. Less the protein, more so the fiber. Um, and the and the vitamins and minerals because we're not eating the nutritious foods. So what can happen is when you're not getting that nutrition, your body's going to drive you to eat more food, even if you've had enough calories. We talked about this yesterday too. Your body will always drive you to the highest calorie food in your environment. So that's why you want to get the chips out of the house or at least get them put away out of sight or get them in individual portions. Don't buy the big Costco Sam size trail mix or if you do, package it away. Put it out of sight so that you can't see it. Your body is naturally going to drive you to those foods. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. This isn't a moral or ethical issue. This is the way your brain works to keep you alive. So that's why we want to manage some of those very high calorie foods carefully and that's how I consider the coffee creamer. So again, not to say you can't have it, but when you pour your coffee creamer, I want you to be thinking, I'm having dessert right now. Is this how I wanna start my day? Do I wanna start my day with dessert? Even if it's just 25 or 50 calories, 
Again, I'm not saying you can't, but just make a wise decision. Be a wise consumer. Is there nutrition in that? Is there something else you could eat instead that would be nutritional and dense and give your body nutritionally dense, give your body energy and the vitamins and minerals that it needs so that you're not craving food later on? I think for a lot of us, the answer to that is yes. I would say if you have a weight problem, I would highly recommend that you not drink calories as often as possible, only every once in a while as a special treat. So that's coffee creamer, even like milk. Um, if your gut, uh, guzzle, I'm not saying you can't have milk, but like guzzling cups of it as like a drink, certainly juice. There's really no nutritional value in juice. Eat the orange, don't drink the orange juice. So those are my thoughts on coffee creamer. I know I go off on that a little bit, but I've just seen, I've seen so many women, and I can't forget pop either, and I was horribly addicted to diet soda, so I'm not judging anybody for their pop habits, but um, if you're drinking regular, you just need to know that that's hundreds of calories that are going into your body, and then you are going to... Um, you're gonna, your body is gonna crave more food later because you're not giving it the nutrition that it needs, but you're giving it more calories than it needs. Okay, so Mary says she couldn't taste the cauliflower rice in the oatmeal, that's amazing. Uh, Julie says, I still have two snacks and I'm full. Is there a reason why the vegetable soup is something you eat every day? No, not really, Julie. Um, it's just a really low calorie um, food that's very nutritious because it has all the vegetables, it's filling. Foods that have a high water content, this is another concept of calorie density, Foods that have a high water content are more filling, and research has actually shown that when you eat those foods, you will, over the course of a day, eat fewer calories. So soup is great, um, the vegetables are great, the fruits are great. You notice I've got like watermelon or cantaloupe on here. All of those foods, even like in the plant-based plan, you're cooking your grains, so you have like brown rice that's cooked. All of those foods have a higher water content, which is going to help you lose weight, but still be satisfied. Um, I'm gonna look at some more of your comments, but I want to make sure that I tell you, we are already starting to get questions from people. What do I do next? What happens after the three days is over? Well, we're gonna talk about that on these videos. We have today, we have tomorrow, we have the next day, and then Thursday morning, we're all gonna weigh in together. Come to the group, tell us how you did. Um, some of you are gonna lose a ton of weight. Some of you are gonna lose some weight. Some of you might not lose any weight. Some of you might even gain a pound or two. I don't want you to be discouraged because no matter what, You've done it. You've done this hard thing. You've followed through. Sometimes we can't control what our bodies do. Most of you are going to lose weight and have great success, and I'm already so excited for you, but I don't want you to be disappointed no matter what the scale says. You are doing such a good thing for your body right now, and if you keep up these healthy ha habits, I promise you that over time, absolutely you will lose weight. Every single person can lose weight. There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with your metabolism. There is nothing wrong with your body. Your body is not the enemy. You don't have to fight against your body. You can work with your body. Your body is trying to protect you. Your body is trying to take care of you. Your body is trying to nourish you. This is the way God made your body. So there's nothing wrong with your body if you're struggling with your weight. We've got, like I talked about yesterday, just a crazy thing going on in our food culture right now that is different from any other time in history where we are surrounded by so many very highly calorie dense foods and we don't really have to work to get them. And so that's why we're seeing such a huge increase in obesity in our culture. But we can turn that around by using our thinking front adult part of our brain to make wise decisions for the future. So what happens when the three days are up? You're gonna weigh in, you're gonna handle however that happens, what happens on the scale. Most of you are gonna have a great weight loss. It's gonna be an awesome kickstart. Then you're gonna say, now what? What do I do when this is over? Well, I'm gonna have um, something coming up for you. I have a special coupon code for everybody who's in the challenge as a thank you for participating with me. And I have several meal plans on my website that I would like you to consider using next. So if you're using the original plan, first of all, you're probably gonna have leftovers. Most people have leftovers, so they keep eating those for the rest of the week. 
then maybe consider using the plant-based plan. This is completely free. If you get the optional upgrade, it's less than $10. This gives you a whole other three days worth of meals and plus the leftovers, so that's almost like a whole other week. Then when you're done, if you, if, especially if this is your first time doing the three-day diet with me, consider getting this, which is called the seven day easy meal plan. So this is just like the three day diet was, everything you need for seven days. So every single day, I give you absolutely everything to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks, and I give you the shopping list, and I give you the recipes, and I give you a printable cookbook, and I give you food swaps, so it's absolutely everything you need for seven easy days of weight loss. So when the three days are done, if this is your first time joining me, I would encourage you to get this next. And I know some of you have this, so if you've used this meal plan, would you share about it in the comments just to let people know how it works for you? And then the other meal plan that I have that's seven days is the seven day super satisfied meal plan. So I would recommend the easy plan first. That's a great one to get started. And then the next one is the super satisfied. It's similar in layout in that there are seven days, everything's laid out for you, breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks. And if you're a Weight Watchers member, I do the points and uh, it fits within your daily points for almost everybody. Certainly your daily points and your weekly points, you'll probably have points left over. There's a shopping list, there's a cookbook. And then the other thing that's great about the Super Satisfied plan is that it is really good if you're plant-based. So if you are using the plant-based plan right now, that's the plan you want next because I give all the plant-based um, swaps and um, and it's very, it's, it's plant forward. It's not 100% plant-based. There are meat um, options in it, but it's very plant forward. So the meals are based on mostly vegetables and fruits and whole grains. And then we've added some meats as well. The whole concept of the Super Satisfied plan is how to eat a lot without going hungry. How to have those great portions so that you're not hungry between meals, that you're not having food cravings at night. That's the whole concept of the Super Satisfied plan. And part of the Super Satisfied plan is a chart that looks like this. And this is the concept of calorie density. The idea of calorie density is that each food has a certain amount of um, calories per pound. And you don't need to worry too much about the math of that. I've kind of figured out all of that for you. But the idea is when you eat foods that are very low in calorie density, which I mark as green, then you can pretty much eat those foods to satisfaction without gaining weight. So the foods that are in that green category that are very low in calorie density are green and yellow vegetables, fruits, whole grains, potatoes, and starchy vegetables, beans and tofu, cooked whole, cooked whole grains, and bean pasta. Now, does that sound familiar? That's pretty much what you've been eating, right? That's the concept of these three days, is we're eating foods that are low in calorie density. That's why you can eat a lot. Some of you are even saying like, I can't even eat it all. It's because of the magic of calorie density. You'll also notice if you're a Weight Watchers member, that's your zero point foods. That's how they do the whole concept of zero point foods is because research has shown most people can eat those foods basically to satisfaction without really having to track them and without gaining weight. Then the yellow category, this is kind of your middle road. This is gonna be your lean protein, avocado, non-fat dairy. So some of those we use too. And then your red category foods, that's your treats. So those are the things that you can have, but you wanna limit and you wanna be really careful. So this is nuts, chips, um, candies and cookies, oil, cooking oil is in there. Those are the foods that we just wanna be really careful. And I can tell you that for myself with those foods, I measure. When I use cooking oil, I do not just glug it into the pan. I measure it with a measuring spoon. When I eat nuts or peanut butter, I weigh those on the food scale. I don't worry about weighing my romaine, my romaine lettuce, you know, like who cares? Like I don't even think you could eat enough romaine lettuce. It's like eight calories for a cup. You could eat 10 cups and you still have like no calories. 
On the other hand, nuts, just like 15 grams is I think 150 calories or something. I mean, 15 grams, 15 grams is nothing. I can pop that in before I even get the food scale out of the cabinet. So those are the foods that we need to be really, really careful. So again, if you're interested in more about calorie density, um, I have information about that in the Super Satisfied Meal Plan. And I'm gonna have a coupon code coming on Wednesday. I'll have that on Wednesday for you so that you can check out these meal plans. The other thing I want you to be thinking about is joining my next weight loss challenge. So the next Holy Mess 30 Day Weight Loss Challenge is going to be the Spring Weight Loss Challenge, and that is going to be in April. And enrollment will start in March, and uh, we'll have an early bird where it's on sale too in the middle of March, so you don't wanna miss that. I can tell you with certainty that if you join me for that challenge and you follow the steps that I give you, you will lose weight for sure. I feel so confident about that. You know, there's a lot of things I don't know about in this life. I don't think I'm ever going to know in this lifetime. Maybe we'll find out when we get to heaven. Maybe we won't. But I can tell you for sure that if you do what I teach you in that 30 days, you will definitely lose weight. And again, I know some of you have been in my weight loss challenges, my summer challenge, my fall challenge. If you were, would you share about it in the comments? Just let people know. All right, so I'm gonna look at a few more of your comments and then I wanna review day two. So let's get ready for tomorrow. So first of all, say in the comments, I can do hard things. Type that in the comments, say it out loud, I can do hard things. You know, day two, um, you might have some more challenges. Day one, you're kind of on that honeymoon, you're excited, you're like, okay, it's a fresh start. Sometimes for some of us, day two can be a little bit more challenging. So let's get mentally prepared that you are going to follow your food plan. So that's the other thing we're gonna say. I will follow my food plan on Tuesday. Type that in the comments. I will follow my food plan on Tuesday. And I can do hard things because you can. You are such a strong person. You know, I think about all the women in this group. Oh my goodness, ladies, you're phenomenal. The things that you have done, the things you are doing, the things you're overcoming, think about the difficult things you have experienced in your life. You know, a lot of you have been through serious health issues, maybe, um, you know, a cancer diagnosis, maybe having your knees replaced or a hip replacement. Maybe you've had just, you know, really difficult medical conditions. Maybe you've had a spouse with a very difficult condition. Maybe you've lost a spouse. Some of you have lost a child. Um, you've had very difficult work relationships, um, painful things that you have gone through, or just really hard things that you've accomplished. There's people in this group who have climbed mountains, who have run marathons, who have raised a special needs child, who have worked in their church, who have worked in their community. Um, I get chills. I just I have these chills just thinking about the amazing women that you are. You are so strong. You're so gifted. And I'm here to tell you, you can do this weight loss thing too. Do not ever, ever think that you can't do this. You can do this. Even if you haven't done it up until this point, or you've gained weight, or you've regained weight, set all of that aside. You can do this. You can lose weight. You can get to your goal weight, and you can stay there for the rest of your life. Yes, you can. Look at all that you have done. You are an incredibly powerful woman. You are successful in so many areas of your life. You are gifted. God has gifted you with so many talents and abilities. Take those talents and abilities. Take those skills. Take those hard things you've done and use them now to do this hard thing of following this food plan. You've totally got this. You can do this. If you can overcome all of that stuff, heck yeah, you can follow a food plan for three days. Of course you can. This is nothing. This is nothing compared to what you have been through. You can totally do this. So tomorrow, when there are challenges, because there probably will be, you're gonna say to yourself, I can do hard things. Sarah warned me, she said that this could happen. I can do hard things. And you're gonna say to yourself, I will follow my food plan on Tuesday. And I want you to think about how good you're gonna feel on Thursday morning. You wanna be excited to step on the scale, like, heck yeah, bring that scale on, let's see the weight loss, let's see what happened. And no matter what the scale says, you're gonna feel really good about yourself because you accomplished something. It is a really big deal to accomplish this meal plan. Do you know how many people start this and don't finish it? A lot. 
Do you know how many people sign up and maybe never even print it off, maybe never download it, never quite get here? And I get it, because it's hard. It's hard to change your food habits. It's hard in today's culture. But you can do hard things, and you are here, and you are doing it. So you are doing it. You're doing it today. You're going to do it tomorrow. The other thing I want to make sure I say, if you fall off the wagon, get right back on. Do not say, oh, I messed up. I guess I'll just quit. I'll redo it on my own next week. I'll redo it on my own another day. Because no, you won't. You probably won't. Some of you will. I don't want to say that. Some of you will. But for most of us, we won't. We're just going to chalk it up to one more failure, one more thing we did wrong. Well, I never can get it right. I can't. I have no self-control when it comes to food. can't tell you how many times I've had women tell me that, how many times I told myself that. But I don't believe that at all anymore. I have a lot of self-control when it comes to food. I have developed that fruit of the Spirit from doing these things, from doing the hard thing over and over. That's how we develop self-control. It takes practice. We have to practice. So if you get off, if you, um, and you know, I'm so proud of the person who didn't eat the pretzels that somebody handed them. But look, if you ate the pretzels, get right back on. Just get right back on right now. Like we talked about yesterday, make it a goal. I will never eat two off-plan meals in a row. We're not going to say, oh, forget it. I screwed up. I'll start over again on Monday. No, 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 no. You start over again right at the very next bite right away immediately so if you got off track today you're not the only one you're not alone but you can get right back on track right now i don't know where your time zone is maybe you can still eat dinner or have a, a, a bowl of the vegetable soup for your bedtime snack or some fruit get right back on and absolutely get right back on tomorrow morning you can do this and you are worth it you are worth the hard you are worth it all right let's look at day two so for the original plan, here's what you're going to be eating tomorrow. Breakfast is different, different for a lot of us. It's a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt and a cup of mixed berries. You can do fresh or frozen. I, I usually prefer fresh fruit, but for this one, I actually like the frozen because I like the juice and it kind of mixes in and it makes it really yummy. So um, you can do that. The Greek yogurt is kind of tart. Um, I, I'm okay with it now. Like I've kind of adapted my taste buds just with the sweetness of the fruit. But if you need to add some um, like stevia or something or monk fruit, you can do that. For lunch, um, we're going to have the tuna salad with celery and carrot sticks and a pear. For dinner, we're going to have grilled chicken breast, um, roasted butternut squash and carrots. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. And green beans. One snack is the vegetable soup and then another two cups of fruit. And that can be a tropical fruit if you want. So that's day two for the original plan. For the plant-based plan, you are having the fajita veggie and black bean breakfast scramble. That's another one that's kind of different for some people. It's vegetables and beans and two cups of strawberries. For lunch, you're gonna have the chickpea and red onion salad. That was a big one. That was really popular with the test group. For dinner, you're gonna have a baked potato, broccoli, nutritional yeast, more chili. And then your first snack is the brown rice with cinnamon and fruit. That's a sweet brown rice, um, almost like a dessert. That's really good, I love that one. And then your second snack is a baked sweet potato topped with a mashed banana. That's another one I love, sweet potatoes. So that is day two. Before we wrap up, do you have any questions, any concerns, things that you need to talk to us about? Let me know. I try to be available as much as I possibly can in the group. Um, my assistant, Gabrielle, checks in in the group. Other people, so many people have done the plans and are here in the group and are ready to help you. You can always email us, sarah at theholymess.com, and Gabrielle will answer you or I can get back to you. So we are here to help you. Keep in mind that starting Wednesday, so not tomorrow, but the next day, we're going to have a coupon code so you can check out the seven-day easy meal plan or the seven-day super satisfied meal plan. Also, if you did the original, you might want to think about checking out the plant-based meal plan. So lots of good stuff coming up. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I know sometimes people are like, I did the three days, but I don't know what to do next. I'm not leaving you hanging. I got lots of good stuff. I have so much free stuff on my website. I have almost 100 free printables now that you can download. There's like 100 videos on my YouTube channel. So if you've been enjoying these nightly videos, head over to YouTube, type in The Holy Mess. I've got tons and tons of teaching videos, 
encouragement videos, weight loss tips, weight loss strategies, Weight Watchers, all kinds of really good videos, Christian weight loss, devotional videos, lots of stuff there for you. I have the, the seven day meal plans and then the 30 day weight loss challenges and the next one is coming up in April. So I am here to support you. I'm not going anywhere. I am here to support you every step of the way along your weight loss journey. All right, let me see if you've got any more questions. While I'm doing that, um, type it one more time in the comments before we end. I can do hard things and I will follow my food plan on Tuesday. So I'm seeing excellent chili, concerned about maintaining. Yep, um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help because there's not a lot of information out there about that. Patricia says maintenance was always the hardest. Yep, I'm here for you, girl. I totally get it. I do also have a really good blog post about maintenance on my website and type it in. Or you can just go to Google and type in like holy mess, maintain weight or maintaining weight. It's like seven, it's called something like seven steps I take to maintain my weight loss. Um, let's see, a sugar bee apple, Camilla. I've never had that before. That sounds really good. My favorite apple is honey crisp. What are you guys' favorite apples? Um, Karen says the chili is so good. My husband said I should never make any other chili. It's really popular. You know, um, somebody told me they entered it into a contest and she thought she won. I thought that was like, do I get part of the prize money? <laughs> oh, it's so great, Bobby. Your husband's doing the three day with you. That's awesome. Lee says, I behaved all day, had to modify this evening, had a special Chick-fil-A event at our church. Okay. And it says, had the grilled chicken salad in your own dressing. There you go. Rock on, girl. That's totally the way to do it. <laughs> Coco was saying she's not a toddler. Um, I'm sorry, Lori, if the video's choppy, maybe go back and try to pop back in again. Otherwise, you can watch the replay. Helen says, she's learning to enjoy more vegetables with these challenges. That's awesome. That's so good. Um, Julie says, I've been shortchanging my oatmeal. It was more filling this morning. Yes, I love adding stuff to oatmeal. The cauliflower rice, the shredded zucchini. And I know some people are like, that's so weird, but it's like zucchini bread. It just tastes like zucchini bread. And then I add like different fruits. And if you really want to be brave, I'll even add some beans to my oatmeal. Not very many, but just a few. You really can't taste it, but it makes it so filling and nutritious. Um, Linda, it took 10 minutes to come up. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here now, though, and you can watch the replay. Um, let's see. Nut pods in your coffee. Nut pods are very low in calories. You're not talking about a huge amount of calories. So I don't want you to get overly concerned about it. I just, I want us to be wise consumers. So I just want you to be thinking, think about your calories kind of like gold. You know, you want every calorie that you possibly can to be really what you want it to be. You know, you want the majority of them to be packed with nutrition. You want them to be filling and satisfying so that you're not hungry later. And then you want some treats. I mean, I eat junk food. I eat donuts. I eat cake. I eat brownies. I eat chips. I don't want a life without those things. But I'm careful about how I do that. I'm not just mindlessly eating them. I'm planning those treats in. So do you want your coffee creamer to be your treat? For you, maybe you do. Maybe that is so important to you, and that's fine. I just want you to do it very mindfully, knowing that that's really a treat because there's not nutritional value in it. <laughs> Linda's still eating her salmon. Some people haven't had dinner yet. I know I'm on the East Coast, so I'm on Eastern time. Um, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up for today. If you have any other questions, I will keep going and look at your comments. Thank you so much for coming in and commenting. You're doing an amazing job. You're doing hard things. You did a fabulous job with day one. Keep sharing your photos. Keep sharing how it's going for you. And then I will be back tomorrow night, Tuesday night at seven o'clock Eastern, and we'll all get together and talk about how day two went for us. You can do it, ladies. You can do hard things. You are strong. You are powerful. You are amazing. You are gifted. God has given you so much. Look at what you've accomplished in your life. You can totally accomplish this. You can follow your food plan on Tuesday. Look at everything else you've done and overcome. You can do it. I am here cheering you on every step of the way. Love you. Good night.